Now, the last few weeks have been a real roller coaster ride for Manchester City fans. Their club became the richest in the world. They put six past Portsmouth, then got knocked out of the League Cup by Brighton. And amidst all that, they found a new hero, but it's not who you might expect. Damien Johnson caught up with him. Joe, Alano, Rubinho, other big names, and yet the manager's picking you out as the, the star player in this early period. Um, you're kept on your toes. There's a massive squad there. There's a lot of world-class players there. Um, I, you just got to keep your shirt week in, week out. When you play games, you have to kind of be consistent and know that someone else after your place. It's really exciting, that's all I can really say about it. You know, it's, it's a shock. Um, the players we're playing with now, players we're linked with, it's just... Um, it's just really good and for me to kind of be in the team playing with world-class players and be linked with world-class players, it just could be brilliant to be part of it. Ball ball clearance there from Paul. It's a chance for eight. Alves! We finished against Middlesbrough really badly. We lost like 8-1 or something like that and I just said, all right, it's time to change now. And I just went, knuckled down hard, done a lot of weights. Um, I kind of, I went with a martial arts trainer um, who I'm friends with um, and for the whole six weeks he just looked after me and I've come back pre-season super fit and super strong and it's, it's still going now. Has it changed your game? I think it has, yeah. I think it has. Um, I just I feel like I can run and never get tired. I feel like I can play like two, three games in a row without wanting to stop. I think the demolition of, of Portsmouth last week made everyone sit up and notice. I mean, have you ever known a game like it? Um, I think we've been working hard on this. We knew what we could do. We knew what to do to beat them and um, in a way everything went right for us. It wasn't really kind of a, a lucky game where it just clicked and that's it and that's the end of it. I think, I think that's us and there's a lot more to come as well. And Brighton and Hove Albion have knocked Manchester City out of the Carling Cup. Let me quote what someone said on a BBC website. It says, City may be the richest club in the world, but they're still City. It kind of sums up the situation. Um, I think we went in I think we went in with a mentality that we wanted to win, we wanted to work hard, but I think it was just kind of a shock, to be honest, a shock to the system. I think we should have got the job done, really. Um, there's no really denying that we should have got the job done, and we just didn't, and it was just it was just one of those things. I think it was just really bad, but the beauty about football is we've got a chance to make it right now on Sunday. I think most Manchester City fans will recognise you as a, as a bit of a character around the place. There's, there's extra scrutiny on you now. Do, do you feel that you have to change your ways a little bit? No, no, I'm just playing playing the way I am, being the way I am and um, I think I think a lot of fans starting to take me a bit more now again as against sports and I got a bit of a good reception and I think that's something I've been looking at for a while, kind of trying to get the fans on my side. The fans have been great now so far so hopefully they can continue that way. Playing well for City obviously gets international attention, the door's still open to you, is, is that something that's on your mind? Um, I'm aware the door's still open to me um, but I, I wouldn't say I'd never go back but right now I'm just Happy as him. Well, after his well documented troubles last season, he's become an important part to Mark Hughes's plans. Very much so, and I think that Mark Hughes was instrumental in keeping him at the club. Mm. And, uh, and, and he's, a, he's a firm favourite with the City fans. Obviously, the Brazilian connection is taking the headlines, but he was picked out by his manager last week about his performance, and I, I saw his performance. His passing was exemplary, he makes runs, he's fit, he, he looks fitter than he was last season, which he talked about, and uh, he is a firm favourite, and he's, you know, he's got the hairstyles to match, he's now gone to the no hair, but um, he, he's playing as if he en he's enjoying himself, and when a player gets like that and you've got ability, which he has, yeah. you can see all, all sorts of things happening. What I would want to ask him, if I saw him, would be, at 22, why wouldn't you want to play for your country? Yeah, when, when, you're yeah. such a, when you're such a good player, and, if I were a uh, trapper Tony, I'd, I'd be coming to the games, I'd be camping on his doorstep mm. until he said yes. And the other thing as well is, you know, whether there was a problem with him and some of the players in the Irish squad, I'll tell you what, if he turned up for training, there'd always be a round of applause because yeah. he is a really good player mm. who's only going to get better, and especially in that team, and he'd be a great addition to the Republic squad, certainly. Yeah, no, we're obviously used to seeing a Manchester side up in the top five in the Premier League. This time it's City, Go not on, United. Go you on. must be delighted. Well, I'm not seeing that for a long, long time. And it's <laughs> Let's hope it continues. But you know, great that we see um, um, the, the, the top four, well, the top three, in their usual position. And nice that you're seeing uh, Manchester City trying to break into that West.